my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Did any one of you ever split the wood with axe? It is very hard and needs physical strength and it demands lots of energy but a wonderful job, especially with the thought of beautiful fire that can be made with a split wood. And some years back, many of our families used to have fireplace for keeping the house warm and the whole family and guests used to enjoy by sitting closer to the fire. And in olden days, this split firewood used for cooking and many people used wood for making house comfortable and beautiful. In the first reading, we have seen God is asking Abraham to sacrifice his only son Isaac for him. During that time, what was the condition and thinking of Abraham when he was splitting wood for sacrifice of his only son on this fire? A fire that would destroy the family. The text is oppressively silent about it. And one might think, Abraham also our forefather in faith. Sometimes we have feeling that he is a religious fanatic who closes his heart and mind when he hears God's voice or when he feels God is talking to him. There are many things that we have to think by standing in the place of Abraham and we should ask to ourselves what might be the feelings of Abraham when he was preparing everything and setting out for sacrifice. What did he say to Sarah, his wife? Has he spoken to Sarah already that he will sacrifice the child? How did he convince his wife? What happened to Abraham when his son asked him, Father, the wood for the sacrifice is here, but where is the animal for the sacrifice? Was he really sure that God would bring the whole thing to a good end? God will provide a sacrificial lamb? We hear Abraham say, did he believe his own words or did he not rather cling to words that at the moment were also highly doubtful to him? No, not at all. In all these questions and thinking, we should never think Abraham had a fear, doubt, anxiety or what will happen. Abraham had a strong faith and trust in God that he will do wonders and unimaginable things. According to the faith and trust of Abraham, God calls and angels spoke, Do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him, for I know that you fear God. Many times we see the tragedies and there are many stories in our societies and in our communities and in our families that will not have a good end. When I think of the newborn children who died right after baptism, I think of the couples who divorced right after the church wedding, a pious family that has not experienced a happy ending. Parents who had to give up their daughter in wedding, whom they have loved. I'm sure you also think of examples where things did not turn out well. Is God in whom some are lucky and others are unlucky? 
that is why it is important that the history of God with man does not end with this history of Abraham and Isaac because God has a plan and purpose in everything that he does if you are able to have faith and trust in God like Abraham you will find meaning in everything that God does because when the time is fulfilled and many generations after God the Father again climbs a mountain with his son is with his only begotten son whom he loves beyond measures they go not up to the mountain in the land of Moray but up to Calvary and on his son rests a great promise through him all the people of the world shall be blessed and find way to God but on the way to Calvary it looks like Isaac who was innocent and did not know what is going to take place but he followed this his father to mountain here also Jesus Christ carrying the cross of wood on which he is going to be sacrificed but this time the story does not end well no angel intervenes at the last moment no substitute offering the stands prepared for sacrifice but Jesus Christ on the cross puts his trust and the future entirely in his loving father's hands just as Abraham did one of the seven words of Jesus Christ on the cross into your hands I command my spirit with the words of Psalm 31 Jesus Christ regains his trust in his loving father on the cross God the Father always seen the salvation and future only through his begotten son all those who believe will experience the salvation and we inherit the kingdom of God my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ as we have seen Abraham with strong faith during the difficult times we have to stand strong in our faith there are many tragedies many times we have to face test of our faith like Abraham, let us stand for God, let us witness for God. May God bless your families and give you courage and strong faith. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.